Monitor publications and red paper editors appeared at the Criminal Investigations Directorate, CID, for questioning over media reports about the money budgeted for MPs for consultations on the private member's bill seeking to remove the presidential age limit. The Nation Media Group Uganda General Manager in charge of editorial, Dan Kalinaki, and Monitor Publications Executive Editor, Charles Bichachi, arrived at the CID offices accompanied by their lawyer, James Nangwala. Richard Chintu of the Red Pepper also turned up with his lawyer, Dickens Biamukama. Police say they are acting on a complaint filed by Igara West MP Rafael Majezi about the Daily Monitor story edge limit budget for 23-man team leaks and another from the red paper published on the 11th and 12th of this month. The two editors and their lawyers spent about six hours at the police. Saying Majesty is a complainant in this thing and uh, he feels aggrieved that we are writing stories. About As you know, there is already a lot of debate about this and our responsibility as a media is to tell the story in its fullness and uh, that's what we have committed ourselves to do and we shall continue to do that. Police confirmed that the two editors faced charges of offensive communication and libel. Section 25 of Uganda's Computer Misuse Act defines offensive communication as a use of electronic communication to disturb the peace, quiet or right of privacy of any person. We will face this from time to time. Uh, our our duty is to inform the public, and uh, that's what we will continue doing. So far, the holding charges, uh, we are taking them on uh, offensive communication and uh, rival. Monitor Publications lawyer James Nangwala says the charges preferred against his client are unfounded under the law. Communication he had what they call cyber harassment, that because of the publication, uh, Majezi has been harassed by social media, but he, they, the story had nothing to do with the social media. The editors have been released on police bond and are expected to report back to CID on Wednesday.